Meghan Markle allegedly drove out two personal assistants and, humiliated, staff on several occasions, which she denies. It is believed to be the first time the actions of a member of the royal family have been investigation by the royal household's HR department. Lawyers for the Duchess have denied the bullying allegations. The Sussexes were not expected to be asked to contribute to the review, but it was previously reported the Duchess had written to the palace asking for any documents, emails or texts relating to the allegations against her. A senior palace source said that Her Majesty the Queen is paying for the inquiry into the Meghan Markle bullying row with her own money. Buckingham Palace said no taxpayer's money was being spent on the investigation which was sparked following claims from a comms chief. The palace declined to give further details as to why the decision was made to privately pay for the HR inquiry. The probe is now set to rumble on and could even stretch into next year. As a source close to the inquiry said, the feeling is this is heading for a brutal showdown between the Duchess of Sussex who is understood to be disputing all allegations labeled against her. In a statement after the bullying probe emerged, the Duchess of Sussex and the Duke of Sussex issued a brutal and forthright rebuttal. Before that the 95-year-old monarch greeted Mr. Johnson in the Queen's audience room in a meeting usually held secret, but which was in part released this time due to it being the first in more than a year. The royal family has long used clothing and accessories to send a message during official engagements, often called, diplomatic dressing, especially when they are conducting an event in a foreign land. The monarch wore the Art Deco Pearl Triangle brooch for her audience with Boris Johnson. The brooch made its most famous appearance when the Queen did a walkabout outside St. James's Palace on the day before Diana's funeral. It was also what she wore for her landmark televised address to the nation about the princess's death. Her Majesty's decision to wear a brooch most famous for being linked to Princess Diana has fixed attention firmly on an event unveiling of the statue of Diana next week. Nine Honey Royal reporter Natalie Oliveri explained the meaning behind the Queen's accessories. Some eagle eyed fans were quick to notice how the room was adorned with heartwarming pictures of the family. In clear evidence of how much Her Majesty values her relatives, there are different pictures of her children and grandchildren are scattered all around. As usual, the Queen had a collection of family photos displayed, including a rare shot of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry framed next to a bouquet of flowers. The picture was taken to celebrate their engagement, although it was never officially released to the public and seen only in the background of other photos by eagle-eyed fans. The Queen also has a photo with her late husband Prince Philip and a photo of Prince William and Kate Middleton on display. There is also a picture one of her sitting with first in line to the throne and her eldest child, Prince Charles, in a portrait that was taken for her 90th birthday in the white drawing room at Windsor Castle. Pictures also pop out of the Queen's daughter Princess Anne with Sir Timothy Lawrence and Zara Tyndall with her husband Mike. This is a sweet sign that the Queen will always hold her family dear, no matter where in the world they are. And it might not be too long before the 95-year-old is reunited with her grandson Harry. He is expected to fly from his new LA base into the UK for the unveiling of a statue in tribute to his late mother, Princess Diana, on her 60th birthday. The special statue unveiling, taking place on July 1, will bring together Harry and brother William for the second time in over a year. They were most recently reunited at the funeral of Prince Philip, who passed away in April. The highly anticipated statue will stand at Kensington Palace, where William, Kate and their three young children reside. While it's unclear which royal family members will be at the official event, we're sure the entire family will find time to catch up together in between. Although Meghan and Prince Harry stepped back from their royal roles last year and relocated to California, Harry said on an appearance on The Late Late Show in February that he kept in touch with his grandparents over video calls. Whatever decisions are made on that side, I will never walk away, Harry added in reference to the royal family. I'll always be contributing. My life is public service, so wherever I am in the world, it's going to be the same thing. Thank you for watching. If you liked, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. We will update the latest videos about the royal family every day. Thanks and goodbye.